The Institute is the oldest institute in England and Wales. Opened its doors in 1853. It's one of the few institutes in Britain that is linked to the iron and steel industry rather than the coal industry. Most institutes were built by the miners. This one was built by Thomas Brown in 1853, opened its doors, and it's been a community facility ever since. Through adult education, through community courses, and it belongs to the community uh, to such an extent that locally it's not known as Everville Institute, it's known as The Stute. And I think that mean, you know, means a lot to people. Um, in fact, when the Borough Council were due to close the building some six or seven years ago, uh, the Friends of the Institute was set up to save it, which they did. And since that time, it's been um, run by Promo Cymru, who now run it again as a community facility. And we want the community to be part of it and to own it. Never been before. I'm an Eberville born and bred, and I've never set foot in this venue. I know that's sounds bad, but I've never set foot in this venue. Yes. It was my very first experience of a library when I was five. Uh, and then when I grew up, I taught here for 15 years, and now I've come back. The girls came to see Pride a couple of weeks back, and they said it was really good. And uh, there was just like a few, a small crowd, and I liked that idea. So um, they told me about this film tonight, and it's something I really wanted to see. We've been looking at all sorts of projects that we can make this uh, venue a community hub and we were contacted by Zoom Cymru looking at venues in Blaine Gwent and when they came to visit us and seen what the facility was they said straight away this was one of the places they wanted to put uh, the Valley Cinema Club into. The reason we wanted it is because we want this place to be community and film, music, entertainment in that way is a wonderful way of bringing the community together. We don't do it enough now. People tend to be uh, isolated by the, the community we're living in. We want this to be a hub, a hub for the community to come to, to enjoy film, to talk about those films and to share. I think that would be great because it's, you know, it's, it's, it's nice and local and it's down, well, it's just down the road from where I live and it's, uh, and it's, 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 it's good for the community. You know, it, uh, it gives us something in Emmerville we didn't have before. In fact, Judith and I have been talking about it for quite a while, actually. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be very strong supporters. We haven't got a cinema now in Ebervale. We had, when I was little, we had about four or five, but now we haven't got any, so it would be really nice. Well, I think it's a superb idea because the sort of films that you are bringing you are thought producing. I mean, they really do bring home various issues. It's also a community effort. Where the com you see today, we had an amazing audience wrapped by the film, and they are now having a drink and discussing various issues, not necessarily all to do with the film, but certainly to do with the community. I would definitely welcome it, because I think it's something that we don't have in Ebbo Vale. I think that it will broaden the cultural base anyway, and also it's something that you don't have to travel miles and miles to see. So I'd be delighted. Well, I think it would be a great idea because we came to the first one and I think there was about 12 of us and obviously the second one there was far more and different people so that's encouraging more people to come here. We, we are a cultural desert in a sense and I think it would be really nice to have access to a wider world really, it would be lovely. Our cinema is in Brimau and obviously in Merthyr and the thing is we can't always get there. So the thing is, having it local, whether or not you've missed this film in the past, you've got that chance to catch up with it. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed this evening. First time we've been for a film here. Um, the venue was ideal, the hall was great, we had a nice big screen, the sound was good. It was a, it was a good experience. The most wonderful part for me in the first film we showed was a mother, a daughter and a granddaughter came to the film. And the daughter said she'd had a wonderful night, but the best part of it was the fact that her mum hadn't been out for over 25 years. And they came together to enjoy the film, to sit afterwards and talk to each other, which again, we don't tend to do so much now, but also to talk to the other people in the audience, to share stories, not just about the film, but about where they lived, about the good old days. It's all about those people reminiscing and enjoying each other's company.